All righty. Hello, everyone. Today, we're doing with um, quantum consciousness, and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to take people into some past life experiences with the intention to help you not only learn how to do this yourself, but to help you un unravel and better understand perhaps what you're experiencing in this lifetime. Okay, so basically I'll be helping you, pulling you back, opening the gateway so you can go back into past life experience and we will be doing some unraveling, okay? But basically what I wanna do is you'll get this recording so you'll be able to do this anytime you want, which is really cool. And you can look at different lifetimes as well, meaning, you know, we all got more than one issue, okay? So, it, you know, what we want to do right now is like whatever's right in your face, whatever's the biggest components in your face, okay? Then what we're going to do, I'll walk you through it, but just so you know and understand what we're doing, we're going to go into, first you're going to go into and, and really feel into and look at and really address what is happening in my world right now. Like in my life, um, one of my biggest biggest things I was dealing with was that was a, like a fear of being killed, <laughs> killed, um, you know, for being a healer. It's like I've, I, even though I had a big Renaissance Center in California for uh, 13 years, I still kind of stayed small. I kind of kept under the radar. I kept things small and, and low key. And I mean, not that we weren't, we were doing huge things, but we weren't marketing and making it big. So it kind of kept me safe. So over the years, I've had to do a lot of clearing and unraveling of many, many, many lifetimes of, of being persecuted in some way or killed or stoned or eviscerated or whatever because of doing what I do, okay? So I don't have that anymore, thank goodness, but it did take a while, you know, it did take quite a bit of unraveling. So for everyone here, what I, what I, I want to back up, but what I also was good too was I saw the lifetimes. I saw what was happening. And again, it really still has to do with, you know, that like a lot of healers right now, they're still dealing with the same thing. They've been persecuted. They've been um, wrongly accused. They've been killed. They've been tortured. And so there's this fear that almost every single healer I have ever known, worked with, has had fear around being visible or, you know, going bigger. So by seeing and understanding, I, what I really began to get to was that unconscious people are dangerous, okay? You know, if they don't understand something and they're like mainstream consciousness, then they are dangerous, okay? So what's cool though about clearing up and cleaning up the really deep, deep places inside is we're no longer afraid of what mainstream consciousness can do or what they do and what's also cool you guys when we unravel something to to the point where it's no a non-issue to where we're actually experiencing no no charge in the body no reaction that's a completely neutral then that means we no longer have within us the frequencies that are going to draw behaviors and actions because we've unwound it we've we've completed it we have finished it Okay, so not only is the fear not there, but also even knowing that, you know, we're dealing with, you know, unconscious humans, um, but we're still, we don't have to draw their bad behaviors or negativity to us. Okay, that's what's really awesome. All right, so I'm going to um, have everyone, because um, everyone experiences, okay, now just remember, don't worry if you're not seeing images or if you feel like you're not going somewhere just just keep relaxing just keep listening to my voice and just keep allowing because even though you may not be actually seeing things or understanding things um, I'm gonna continue to help all of you releasing energies when we're doing this okay so you know don't get all tweaked out because maybe you know you're not having any pictures or whatever, okay? Just keep relaxing, all right? So first thing I want everyone to do is I want you just to become aware of what's the angst in your life right now? 
okay? It doesn't matter what it is, people. It could be something like, you know, never having love, never finding a relationship. It could be where you're being under attack or you could have health issues. Uh, you could have um, any kind of emotional issues or, or feelings of unworthiness or, or fears or phobias. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? What I want you to do is let it be in your awareness, which also reminds me, um, anytime you want to unravel uh, a deep wounding, part of what's happening is at a soul level, you keep recreating same kinds of situations to activate the reaction, the, the, the feeling that you didn't know. Meaning when it happened, you ran away from it. You didn't want to face it. It was too intense, too overwhelming, too much. So you buried it. Well, guess what? That continued to go with you into your incarnations. This is why we see the same recycling of the same issues lifetime after lifetime, people. So you can be doing the same stuff for 100 lifetimes, 500 lifetimes. It's like what's happening is you are not knowing yourself in these feeling places. In order to unravel something and to know it, you have to stay conscious in the body. Make sure your soul consciousness is within, with you, inside your physical body. You have to keep your heart open to what the feelings are. And it doesn't matter what they are. You still got to stay open to them and you got to let the energy move through your body. And you can't be in your mind having thoughts. If you're thinking anything while you're in a feeling state, you're not unraveling. Okay, it's, it's pure emotional energy. And the only way to know it is to lose any mind thoughts, to drop into the feeling so deeply and so profoundly that nothing else exists but those emotions. By dropping in like that, then you can access deeper and deeper and deeper layers of emotions that are connected to the issue that you're trying to unravel. So when we go back into your past incarnations, we're gonna take it nice and easy, nice and gentle, and we're gonna start unraveling as we go. I will also be tracking, I'll be watching and witnessing whatever's happening in your past incarnations and also helping you. But what I really wanna do is to help you, to teach you how you can unravel stuff from the past, okay? All right. Okay, so now, thinking about what's your issue? What is in your face? What is the big issue that you'd really, really like to understand, to perhaps unravel, to get some clarity on, and to get some relief from, okay? So hold that energy. Hold that in your awareness right now. First thing I really want you to do while you're being aware of the issues in your life that are hammering you, what it, how is it making you feel? What's the emotion? Don't use your mind, people. The mind can never understand anything. It can't know. So now drop the mind and just come in. When you think about your life, when you think about your situation, when you think about what's happening in your world, what's the emotion that arises? Don't go looking for something, people. Let it arise because it will. Okay? If you just... Think about what's happening. Let the emotion come. Allow it. Allow it. Because this is the key. The emotion that be, is being elicited is the key to unraveling your emotional wounding so you don't have to keep doing things over and over. Okay, so now stay with that feeling. It's bringing up a feeling that you live with. Let's, let's actually go down a couple, because when we start hitting the subconscious, we actually can go deeper into your past lives, okay? So now here's the key for, for dealing, doing your own emotional work. If you stay with the feeling, if you rest in it, soften to it, know it, you can then take your awareness and go underneath that initial feeling that you're aware of, that initial emotion that you're feeling, okay? Let's just do that. So now that you've been sitting in this first initial feeling that you already, you already know this one because you live with it, okay? Feeling this will never change your life because you, it's, the, it's the conscious feeling, okay? Now let's go back down underneath that feeling, that emotion, 
rest in that for a few moments. It's going to feel a little bit different. It might have the same kind of quality to it. It might still be sadness or it might be anxiety or it might be fear. It doesn't matter. Just stay with it. Soften to it. Welcome it. Say yes to it. You want to know these emotions. You want to know this feeling that lives inside of you. Okay, good. Now, take your awareness and go underneath. Yeah, there we go. Now we're hitting the subconscious. This is what we want. We want the subconscious. Now, hold that emotional frequency. Stay with it. Don't judge it. Make it wrong. Let it be. No resisting, no fighting. Rest in this. Good. Now, people, holding that in your frequency, your energy field, okay? What I'm going to be doing is helping your energy to connect with the lifetime or even lifetimes where this began, where this all started, okay? So now as you're holding that energy, that emotional energy in your awareness, you're just feeling it, being with it, allowing it. Good. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your awareness, okay? Take your awareness and just be right behind your eyes for a moment so that you actually feel your awareness. You've already activated what's needed to go back in time, okay? The emotional frequency that's disrupting your soul's evolution and your life right now, we've already activated it. It's activated. Good. Now, as you take your awareness to behind your eyes, now take your awareness. Like I said, we're going to go nice and easy because not everyone has done this. Some of you have, and I know you're anxious to get going, but stay with me. Now take your awareness. Just go right to the top of your head, even if it means you touch in the top of your head. So you feel your consciousness, your awareness at the top of your head. Okay. Now let's go up to the ceiling. Right above you, take your awareness. It might feel or seem like it's a little, you know, not quite as um, palpable, but just stay with it. Just let it be. And then take your awareness now above your house, your apartment, where you live. And let's go, let's be looking up to the sky. I'm going to go, I'm going to hold a frequency of light. And you're going to find that light and you're going to come to me. You're going to come to me. Okay, I'm holding the frequency. Everyone is coming to the light that I'm holding coming, coming, coming. So you literally start to feel and sense lots of other people around you, lots of other beings. You're going to feel the light frequency. Okay, good. Now we're going to go back in time. We're going to drift back through your life stream. Okay. Now for some of you, it may feel like moving through like a, like a river. For some of you, it may feel like you're going through like through um, cones or not cones, but um, gateways or even wormholes, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I take all of your consciousness. I'm also going to be going to your highest levels, the super consciousness of you, and asking to be drawn to, asking your soul, asking your consciousness to be drawn to the lifetime that's most relative to what you're experiencing right now in this lifetime. Okay, so we're just going to go back through time now. Yeah, back through time. Sometimes, you know, I'll take people through a cave or whatever. But we're just going to take your awareness. We're going to be drifting back through your life stream. Through your life stream, going back, back, back in time, way back. Okay, good. Now what you're also going to be doing is you're going to begin to hold again that same kind of energy that you were accessing when we were feeling into that third layer down into the subconscious, whatever emotion that was. You're just going to have that in your awareness now as you keep going back, back, back through time. We're going to go back, continuing back, back, back through time to help you. Good. Keep going, going, going. Okay, good. Now we're going to start landing in a particular lifetime, just landing in a lifetime Landing in the physical body that was yours, that housed your soul in the lifetime that's pertinent, that's relative to the issues of this lifetime. Good. Okay, good. Now, as we land in the physicality, in the physical body, you're going to begin to just look down at your own body. Look down at your own body. You want to find out, is this male or female body? Okay, so you're going to look down at your hands. Maybe your hands, maybe your skin's a different color than what you are in this lifetime. Okay, look down at your hands. Look down at your clothing. Look down at your body. Look down and see your feet. 
and notice what kinds of clothing and footwear or maybe you're barefoot just noticing just noticing now we're going to let that feeling that same emotional frequency that you were activating and accessing earlier we're going to let that be in this physical body that is yours right in this lifetime right now that you're experiencing okay so you're going to let that happen as well now you're going to begin to look around you're going to get a sense of where you are what time period is this what does this look like some of you might not even be on planet earth it doesn't matter people just be open stay relaxed whatever presents just let it present okay now as we look around in the environment looking around to get a sense of where you are now we're going to ask for all the people that were also co-creators, co-participants in your life that has caused you to experience the dysfunction, the wounding, the pain that you are currently experiencing in 2019, 2019. So now we're gonna call forth and ask for all peoples, all parties, everyone who also contributed to your experience who co-created with you remember there are no victims it's always a co-creation now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting a sense of like as people present you're going to get a sense of and pay attention to your own reactions to your own senses your own feelings how you are responding how you are reacting to these individuals to these peoples maybe there's more than one maybe there's a group maybe there's you know um, all kinds of different scenarios it doesn't matter you're just being open to understand understand the co-creation that you have done that's still anchored in your subconscious right now that's reliving the same old same old okay now what we want to do is we're going to move forward in time so that we begin to see and understand what transpired what events took place what were you doing were you part of causing harm did you do atrocities or were you a victim too but somehow you are a co-creator so you're going to have both you're going to have where you have done harm and you're also going to have where harm was done to you but this lifetime that we're in this particular lifetime is important for you in unraveling your life right now okay now sometimes some of you actually took vows oaths promises allegiances okay some of you have done atrocities like like for example some of you have literally been in satanic worshiping or satanic rituals and you've done bloodletting you've done sacrifice you've done kill it mm -hmm. you have you yeah you've actually done babies infants sacrificed infants sexual kinds of weird things okay you've also done some of you've done soul capturing soul devouring soul annihilation soul torturing some of you have just done atrocities wiping out different people some of you have been victimized some of you have been caught and captured by the powers of darkness and they're still devouring and eating off of your energy field. Some of you have done things where you've been abused, where you've been betrayed, where you've lost love. I mean, it, it goes on and on, but just be with your experience, stay with it, okay? And then we're gonna keep moving forward to understand the outcome, all right? so when we move forward let's just see the unraveling let's see the events let's witness witness by participating as though it's actually happening right now moving forward forward in time so you begin to see sense know understand what was transpiring in this lifetime and we're going to keep moving forward keep moving forward to all the the, the traumas all the horrors everything that you've done in that lifetime everything you experience now we're going to come to the moment where you're actually dying where you're leaving your body behind now in this place there might be regrets there might be understandings there might be wishing you could have done things differently okay so now we're going to go into that moment of death right before dying any regrets any sorrows 
any places that you have you'd like to change you're just going to be aware of these just being aware now we're going to let the body die we're going to notice and be aware of what transpires you leave the body your soul leaves the body it literally can see itself see the body that it came out of and it's looking down at this physical body and then also as you begin to look up you will see a light you will see others coming you will see other soul families coming they may not have been of that lifetime but your soul family will be there to greet you so now we're going to take our awareness and we're going to go right into that light and we're going to meet up with massive amounts of soul families it's like a reunion a reuniting okay now you're going to have another opportunity to make new agreements, new contracts that are still going to be based on what you did not unravel, what you did not liberate from yourself in that lifetime that you just came out of. Okay, so now I want you to get a sense of you're pulling other beings in at the highest levels, even people that are still alive. After you have passed, you still have soul connection. There's still soul communication. There's still the highest levels. There's still the super consciousness. And this is where you are making new agreements. So now we're going to go right to the moment where you're now calling forth all the souls. Okay, and here's the place where you're going to understand, oh, I didn't learn my lesson. I didn't do what I thought I would do. So I'm going to agree to do it again. Okay? But this time, you're going to see what you agreed to do in the subsequent lifetime, the lifetime that you went into after this initial lifetime. You're going to get an understanding of how you made the same agreements again, sometimes same people, different capacities, different kinds of relationships. Sometimes new soul families are going to help you out. But it's always about the unraveling to know thyself in particular ways. Who are you in the face of atrocities? Who are you in the face of victimization? Who are you being raped, being murdered, being decapitated? Who are you in all of that? Part of what's trying to happen is that you're trying to discover your true divine light, the true essence of who you are that is untouchable where nothing actually can be hurt, where you cannot be harmed, we cannot be annihilated, you cannot be tortured, it does, it's not possible. It's that state of pure awareness. So we're gonna go into that now, so that you also can get a sense of, not only are you agreeing to have horrendous experiences, but in the midst, in the face of all of these experiences, there's still a place within that is eternal, that is untouchable, that is undamaged, that is not wounded, it is not broken. This is your eternal awareness. This is you. So we're going to go into that place. So even though you're making agreements to come back into the next lifetime, to know yourself again, again, we're going to recreate the same kinds of things so that you can finally be done with it. But this time we're going to also feel into and get a sense of that place of pure awareness, the untouchable. Nothing, there is no sadness here. There is no loss. There's no victimization. It's a state of pure awareness. Okay. Now, as we're seeing and sensing and knowing, we're making new agreements that are the same, only different. But before we go into the next incarnation to see and sense and know, we're doing it again. We're going to go ahead and sink a little bit deeper into that state of pure awareness. No attachment, no need, no want, no desire. Pure awareness, consciousness that is free and liberated. Now I want you to really anchor that into your, your consciousness now, your awareness is that place of awareness. And then we're going to go ahead and go into, and we're going to be birthed and born into the next incarnation. Okay, so now we're going to land inside of the womb of the mother. Okay, we're also going to hold with us that state of pure awareness. Pure awareness. No wounding, no broken, no damage. 
Now you're going to be in the womb. Now you're going to start to get a sense of a different kind of sense. You've called in this mother to give you what you need to, to light up your wounding that you didn't clean up from the past. Okay. So, but this time you're going to notice it in a different way. You're going to be aware of your wounding, but you're also going to be aware of that state of pure awareness, pure awareness, the untouchable you. Yes. The eternal you. Now we're going to go into that lifetime. We're going to be birthed. We're going to be born. We're going to go follow that lifetime because these events actually already happened. You already had these experiences, but this time you're going to go into these experiences. You're going to see the harm that was done. You're going to see the rejections. Are you going to see the interferences? You're going to get a sense of as you grow up in this lifetime, we're going to keep moving forward. You're going to keep growing up. You're going to see different frequencies, different scenarios, different events, different experiences. But this time you stay with that pure awareness. This time you stay with the state of awareness, your eternal, your untouchable self. And you're going to witness things in a different way. Good. So we're going to keep moving through, moving through, moving through this lifetime. We're going to keep going, going, going. We're going to get a sense of, did you do atrocities? Did you do, cause harm? Did you hurt others? Did others hurt you? Were you abused? Were you harmed? What was the same kind of scenario that you've been doing? We're going to notice you got the same old scenario, same old, same old, recycling again. Okay? Now, we're going to go right to the moment of death again. We're going to go ahead and feel those same kinds of regrets that you've been experiencing again. Okay, good. And all, all the things you'd like to change, wish you could have done different, awarenesses, awarenesses. Okay, now you're going to let the body die again. You're going to go into that state of pure awareness. You're going to look into the light. You're going to go home with all the beloveds, all the soul family. you got hundreds, thousands of soul family people in your soul family. And again, you're going to meet with them. And I'm just going to show you again, you're going to make new agreements. Same thing, same only different because you didn't unravel it in that lifetime. Now, what I'm going to show you is we're going to open up the lifetimes, open up the lifetimes. So you begin to get a sense of you have done this time and time and time and time and time and time and time, and time again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Okay. All because you did not unravel it at the deepest level. You did not stay in the body. You did not know thyself. Okay. So now we're actually going to go back in time. We're going to go further back. We're going to go prior to even the initial lifetime that we entered. Now what we want is we're going to find out and go to the moment where we made agreements to know ourselves in the ways that you are experiencing in this lifetime. This is going to help you understand why you made these choices, why you made these decisions. Okay, so now we're going to go back in time, pulling you back, 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 back. And we're going to be out of body. But we want to go to the original time when we agreed to have the experiences that we're having right now. Right now, whatever they are. Hold that in your awareness, those experiences. Now we're going to go back, 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 back. Right before the original lifetime when we began to have these kinds of experiences that would elicit and cause us to have certain feelings and emotions that we wanted to know ourselves in and as. Forgetting that we're not going to remember these agreements. And yet we believe that we would be able to do this. So now we're going to go back, back, back. Now we're going to go right to that state. Now you're going to go to the moment when you're in a state of awareness, when you've made the decision to have this experience. I'm going to give you a few moments now. I want you to rest in that because there's a knowing. There's a sense of. There's a desire. Okay? And it's not like you're feeling it in an emotional, but it's in a place of awareness that 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 arises from within that somehow indicates I want to know myself I'm going to use myself I want to know myself as a healer that gets persecuted as a healer someone who is doing good someone who is making a difference I want to know how humanity will cause me harm how they will judge me and when they judge me what will happen I need to know myself in these ways okay so then I'm in that place of awareness and the desire to make these decisions, the thought to make these decisions came from 
the frequency of pure awareness, but it also came from the li past life experiences of having great, wonderful, beautiful lives. No harm, no damage. So I'm full of light, full of happiness, full of joy. Ah, so now it's time to know myself in all ways. How can I do that? Well, let me see. I do, yes, I do choose to have an experience. I do choose to know myself in these ways. So you're just going to take a moment, letting yourself to get a sense of how did you want to really know yourself? What was it you were desiring? What was it you wanted to wake up to and know in the suffering of humanity and the polarities of humanity? What is this? So just be with this for a few moments. Just sink into it. Let it come to you. Awarenesses will come to you when you're in an altered state like we are right now. Okay, so just take a few moments. Being with your own self, getting a sense of the choices you made in the state of pure awareness, the eternalness that you are, in the eternal you, to know all facets, all faces of creation, all things of creation. The only way to know everything of creation is through direct experience. And that's what we are doing. We are choosing to have direct experience so we can know all faces, all facets of creation, of source, of God itself. For that is all that there is. There is nothing but that. So now just resting in this, getting a sense of. Good. The thing is, is when you make these agreements, you have no clue, you have no idea what is going to happen in the physical realms. It's easy to make these kinds of decisions, these kinds of choices, when we have no concept, no clue of the physical discomfort, the physical pain that we will suffer. Okay, so get a sense of that as well. Just noticing, noticing, noticing what you have chosen. Good, 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 beautiful. Now, people, what we're going to do, we're going to start taking our awareness. Okay, we're going to come out of this place where we literally made agreements in the state of pure awareness. We're going to go to a higher level of ourselves, our highest level, our suit, what I call the super consciousness. You've got higher levels. There's, you know, there's many aspects of you, but the highest, highest before you go into pure awareness, which is a state of oneness but also where we connect with the pure consciousness of creation itself. In this place right here, in this place at the highest level of your super consciousness, we're going to take our awareness there now. Okay, it's the highest level. It's an expanded state of consciousness. It, this part of you really doesn't have much attachment, judgment, things of that nature. But now we're also going to begin to remind this aspect of us not that it doesn't know it, but sometimes if we remember by reminding our own selves that we are actually in the new paradigm now. We are in the new paradigm. The old ways are done. The old ways are archaic. It's like being in the dinosaur ages. We cannot move through the veils of the new paradigm if we continue to hold on to what we believe to be karma, what we believe to be reaping and sowing, what we believe to be the unraveling or the suffering of our own selves, okay? Everything has to be let go of. That means all of your beliefs, all of your programming, it all has to be dumped, okay? So now, as we're connecting with our highest levels, our super consciousness, we want to get in sync with this highest level of ourselves, and we want to hold that, yes, we are ready for the new paradigm. We have done enough. We have experienced enough hundreds of times, over and over, different ways of dying, di different ways of being tortured, different ways of feeling unworthy, unimportant, unloved, and how we have done the same to others. We have done that enough. The new paradigm is no longer about that. The new paradigm is completely different. It does not hold this frequency. We cannot carry this frequency of wounding and bashing each other and hating each other and hating ourselves into the new paradigm. It has too much light. Okay, so now we're going to get in sync with our highest levels, our super consciousness, the highest levels of who we are. Now, 
from your heart, from the deepest, deepest longing of the heart to be liberated, to be freed from your own mind, from your own misperceptions of reality, from your own conclusions, because it's all about you anyway. We're going to let our highest levels, our super consciousness, we're going to let that highest level of who we are know that we are ready. It is time. We are ready for the new paradigm. We are ready to be done with the old ways. We are ready to be done with our our reaping and sowing and doing it over and over and over with the recycling. We are done with recycling. Now we're going to put that white flame, the Holy Spirit itself. We're going to put that white flame between us and our highest levels, our super consciousness frequency. It's not a physical body, people. It's an energy frequency. It's a divine frequency, high, high, high vibrational frequency. Now we're going to have our consciousness and our highest levels, white flame all these old 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 ways all these old old agreements and contracts that we made we're going to let them go we're going to start sending them from into the white flame and dissolving them all the ways that i've tortured myself all the ways that i wanted to know myself so i can know all facets of creation itself in negativity in negative in hurt in pain and suffering in anguish and despair and hopelessness and helplessness crisis on and on and on and on and on. I relinquish, I release these agreements and contracts. It is time. We are in the new paradigm. I have done this enough. I have known myself in these ways many, many times over. I got it. I got it. I know the suffering. I got it. There we go. Now, contract. I'm going to go deep, deep, deep into the contracts that you've made. Ancient, ancient, ancient contracts. Deep, 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 deep in the ancient contract that you have made. Now we're going to really anchor, release those into the white flame, clearing them out, 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 out. There we go. And while you're doing this, I'm going to be putting light in your physical body. Stay here. Stay here. You don't need to track with me. So I'm putting light, light, light. I'm putting the white flame in your physical body. I'm going into your subconscious and activating and clearing and releasing even more energies coming out. Agreements and contracts coming out. Clear, 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 clear. Into the white flame, dissolving, neutralizing so that you can be done with your same old, same old, recycling the same old thing. Good, beautiful. And let's keep dumping it. And then also we're going to start releasing and clearing in the state, connected with your highest levels, your super consciousness, your soul levels, your soul consciousness. I'm going to pull all your soul levels, all levels of your soul. you got your higher levels, your lower levels, your highest levels, your super consciousness. All these levels all carry frequencies. So we're going to purge and purify these frequencies because they all carry a little bit of your pain and suffering because it's all part of you. So now we're going to use that white flame. We're going to go through all the different layers, all the different levels of who you are in physicality and who you are in all time and space and who you are in all dimensions, other realities, other realms. We're going to use that white flame and the soul imprint. We're going to start releasing and clearing your agreements and, and contracts to have experiences to know yourself so that you may know creation and God. So you already, you, yeah, let's clear it, clear, 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 through the soul frequency that you carry forth, through the soul wounding that you carry forth, through the soul damage and unconsciousness that you carry forth, clear, 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 light, 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 beautiful, clear, 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 nice, good, clear, 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 go, 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 releasing, releasing, releasing. Raising your vibration frequency, raising the whole frequency. Now, in your don't stay right where you are. Stay with your higher levels. In your physical body, I'm going to be amping up the light, the light itself, the light of creation, the light of all that is. Your light. You are creator incarnate. You are the divine. You are that. All your cells, everything, 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 everything physical, everything that is you is creation itself. Now we're going to ask. Yep, good, good, good. Asking highest levels, asking creation itself to bless you, grace you, release you, helping you, assisting you, bringing in that light so that your whole physicality and all your all your layers, all your higher levels, super consciousness is being filled even more with light, 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 light. There we go. Good, 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 good. Beautiful. There we go. Nice. Good. Now we're going to take our awareness and we're going to see the veils. I saw these veils way back in the 80s. I was shown these veils and they're thinning even more. But as we see these veils, 
we're going to go move through. I'm going to actually go on to the other side of those veils, and I'm going to be reaching forth to every one of you, okay? You're going to see my hands reaching right out to you on the other side. Okay, good. So I'm taking my hands and just keep staying soft. Now I'm going to let my eyes present so you're looking into my eyes. Each and every one of you holding you. Remember, we can split our awareness. We can be in you know, a multitude of places all at the same time. Good. Now looking into the eyes, I'm welcoming you, inviting you, asking you, come. Come with me. Join me in the new paradigm. Where it's really about the oneness. Where it's really about the recognition. Same in you. Same in me. We all have the same wants, needs, hopes, desires, wishes. We all want love. We all have love. So what we're doing, we're just, yep, keep looking in my eyes and be willing. Just let it all go. All your pain, all your something that you've been attached to, your perverse pleasure. Many of you've all got, all of you have perverse pleasure in your suffering. Some of you don't understand that by having that perverse pleasure, you're the one holding on to your wounding. You're the one holding on to your suffering. Now, feel into that feeling. There is a pleasure in your suffering. It feels so good to feel so bad. Now, be willing to let it go. Wake up to it. Wake up to it. Wake up to it. You're torturing your own self. You're causing your own suffering. You are doing it. You are co-creating it. Now, feel inside. Find, find, find that feeling where you're willing to be done. No more, no more, no more. Let the pain go. Let it go. Keep looking in my eyes. You can't move through if you want to hold on to this. Now, I'm going to start pulling you through. Keep letting go. Keep letting go and releasing that desire, that feeling of that poor me, the victim, feeling so special in the poor me, being, being victimized. I'm so broken. I'm so damaged. No one's as broken as damaged as me. Oh, suffering, suffering. It feels so good. Perverse pleasure in your suffering. Are you willing to let it go, people? Pulling you through. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Keep letting go. Keep letting go. You got to want love. You got to want freedom. You got to want the light. The light, light, light. Nothing is greater than the light. Nothing can damage the light. The light is pure, pure love, pure, 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 pure divine light coming through. I'm going to shine that light even brighter, even brighter. I'm going to let the light come through my eyes. The love, loving you exactly as you are, but also letting you know you got to let go of this old paradigm. You got to let go of the old ways. If you keep holding on, you can't pass through. Good, so keep looking, feeling, yep, shining the light, shining the light, the light, shining the light into you, into your consciousness, shining that light of creation itself, bright, 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 brilliant, bright light, 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 no pain, no suffering, pure love, pure connection, pure, 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 pure love, unconditional, pure love, there we go, come on, you can do it, coming with me, some of you are coming through, there we go. Let's keep coming through, coming through, coming through. Yes, 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 yes. Let's start anchoring those that are coming through. Let's start anchoring you in the new, anchoring you in the new paradigm, so you can really start feeling this, start living this, start knowing this. And the old ways, old suffering, the old pain, the anguish, the poor me's, the victimizations. Yeah, the atrocity, all of it, all of it, dissolving, 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 dissolving. Shut. Clear, 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 clear. There we go. Good. Even more coming through now. More people coming through. Yes, yes, yes. Keep coming. Keep looking in my eyes. Activating, activating your divine light. Activating who you are. Activating the memory that you are creator incarnate. You're a divine being. You are pure awareness. You're a divine light. You are full of unconditional love. Nothing in you wants to cause harm or hurt others. Nothing in you wants to be a victim. You want to be liberated, liberated, liberated liberated from your own mind, your own thoughts, your own emotions, to be liberated. Yes, and when you're liberated from within, the external world reflects that. If you still hold hurt, pain, suffering, victim, that's what's going to keep happening. If you hold the light and love and pure, that's what's also going to happen. Good, 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 good. Now we're pulling you through, pulling even more through, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go even more. Good, beautiful. Now, it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter what's happening. You have the opportunity to listen to this again as much as you want. But right now, we're going to go right back. We're going to start going back to the body because we're going to do some more releasing in your physical body. Okay? But right now, you're going to take your awareness. You're going to be right above your own building, above your own house or home, where you live, where you are. You're going to take your awareness now. Come right down into the room so you're still hovering above the body at the ceiling level. 
then you're going to take your awareness and you're going to go right into your body so you begin to bring your consciousness so that you're in your body and you're behind your eyes you can feel your consciousness coming in to behind your eyes now we're going to continue so keep your eyes closed now we're going to go into your subconscious we're going to go into the deepest recesses of the subconscious you're going to hold the frequency of light and love for yourself and you're going to keep saying yes it's time liberation is here it is time to be done with my victimization the poor me the atrocities that have been done to me and that i have done to others it is time for the new paradigm. I say yes to the new paradigm. Now, as you say yes, now I'm gonna go deep into your subconscious. I'm gonna blast your subconscious with massive amounts of light, 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 beautiful light of the all that is. Light, 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 light. And all kinds of beings, all kinds of entities, discarnates that have been assisting you to keep you in these in these realms, in this dysfunction, in this wounding, in this pain and suffering. Light, 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 light. Everyone gets to go home, accelerating, accelerating, accelerating. Everyone goes home, home, home. Out of your body, clear, clear, clear. Coming out of your cells, your DNA, your blown bones, your blood, your organs, throughout your, your entire physicality. Yeah, the lymphatic system. Yes, 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 yes. Your nervous system. Yeah, good, good, good. Beautiful, clear, 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 clear. Good, agreements and contracts. We're gonna blast those concrete places that you've had these held in place for eons and eons of time. Ancient, ancient, ancient. Blasting, blasting, blasting. Clear, clear, clear. Like bombs going off, going off. Clear, clear, clear. Deep, 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 deep. That's right, good, 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 good. Clear, 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 clear. Nice, beautiful. Good, excellent. Clearing, clearing, clearing. Energy is being released out of energy field. Beautiful. Go, 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 go. Excellent. Good, good, good. Now we're going to echo out, echoing out. Just say in your name. I want you to echo out your name. I'm going to open up all the dimensions, small time, space, dimension, universe, galaxies, lifetimes, really, black, black holes, frequencies, parallels, realms. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good, good, good. Echoing, echoing, echoing. Calling yourself back, 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 back. All of you back. Even from the underworlds. Yeah, middle worlds. Coming in, 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 into your body, your own essence, your own consciousness, your own frequencies. Coming back. I'm going to use the light to clear out any kind of tr suffering, traumas, any negativity as you're entering back into your physical body. There we go. Coming back in, in, in. Excellent. Now I'm going to go into your heart center. Beautiful. And I'm going to find these places of you that have been hiding. Hiding, hiding, hiding. Don't see me. Don't look at me. Yep, I'm too suffered. I'm too broken. I'm too damaged. And I'm going to find these parts of you. I'm going to pull those right out, 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 out. It's time. I'm going to fill these parts of you with light, 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 and love from the, of the all that is, from creation itself. Blasting love frequency. Unconditional love. There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with you there we go light 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 perfection perfection you are perfect exactly as you are love 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 frequencies blasting into your heart center there we go light 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 frequencies frequencies good beautiful light frequencies and into the heart center now we're going to go right down we're going to start releasing lots of frequencies in those first and second chakras as well because this is also a past lives Past lives, traumas, hurts, all kinds of stuff. Life, death, survival, emotional energy, sexual energy. So now I'm going to go into those first and second chakras. And we start blasting these with all your old past lives, things you've been holding on to, the poor me, the suffering me. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I've suffered so much. Uh-huh. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, clear. Yep. Yeah, light, light, light. Blasting, 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 blasting. Suck. Clear, 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 clear. Clear, clear, clear. Now I'm going to start spinning the correct colors. Beautiful, clear red in that first chakra. And moving, there we go. Clear, 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 clear. Pure, pure, pure red into the second chakra. Pure orange. Beautiful, clear, crystal clear orange. Into the third, beautiful yellow. Beautiful, lemony yellow. Bright, bright, bright. Clear, 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 clear. Heart center, beautiful green, emerald green. Clear, clear, clear. Into the throat center, that sky blue, clear, clear, clearing out communication, clearing out blockages, fears, clear. And that third eye, indigo, and the third eye, beautiful, clearing it out, blasting out 
your third eye, open it up, opening it up, opening it, blasting, clear, 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 suck, good, opening up the crown chakra, that violet crown chakra, opening it, opening it, opening it, opening it, so you receive even more guidance, even more connection to your higher levels and to creation itself, and we're going to open that up, Asking for this beautiful, beautiful light, beautiful frequencies to come down, 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 sparkling, sparkling, all kinds of colors, sparkling, 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 coming right down into the crown chakra, moving down into the head, moving down into the body, purging and releasing out of the, the frequencies throughout the entire body, the physical body itself, releasing even more traumas, pores, yeah, negative frequencies, and just filling your body with light, 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 beautiful light, amp it up, amp it up, brighter, 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 beautiful, nice. So we're activating your cells, we're activating your DNA, we're activating your chakras, we're activating you at the deepest levels. It's time, people, it is time. It is time for joy, it is time for happiness, it is time for evolution, for awakening. There we go. Good, 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 good. Beautiful. More of you landed in. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we're going to let go of all the images, whatever is presented for you. We're going to let everything go. You're going to hear my voice calling you back to this moment, to this moment in time, to be conscious and present right here. So now again, you're going to take your awareness, be behind your eyes. So you become aware of where you are, of your surroundings, hearing sounds, moving your body. So you're fully present, fully conscious in the here and now. Bringing yourself right back to this moment, being present right here, right now. Coming all the way back, 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 back. Yeah, good. And then you can open your eyes, be present, be conscious, be aware. And then just noticing what your body's feeling like, noticing what the energy's feeling like. Okay, so just being right here, right now. Beautiful people. Okay, so I know that some of you probably feel like, well, I didn't see anything or whatever. Don't worry about it, like I said earlier. I want you to listen to this again. It's going to be available. It's on Facebook. Do it as much as you want. And each time you're going to go deeper and deeper into unraveling. You can pick different topics each time. But no matter what, things are going to keep moving for you. Okay? And what I love about this, nothing to do, really. Okay? You're just letting yourself experience, letting yourself let go, letting yourself be assisted. Okay? And, and also really to get in touch with, your higher, your higher self, your, your light, your beauty. And then in that, you start to realize, there ain't nothing wrong with me. Okay. But what's cool is the fears and the, the feelings of not belonging, the feelings and fears of, of being alive and being on the planet, you know, of not being so dangerous is going to feel really, really good. Okay. So again, people, you know, like I said, you'll have this, listen to it again as much as you want all right so i do want to just say we have a few minutes so i just want to say a couple things about um when when you're lighting things up to go back the key is to not avoid what you're experiencing but to say yes to your experience whatever that is you know like a lot of people have like money issues okay so many of you have taken vows of poverty or You've got judgment, so I'm just going to remind you on something. You might want to. You might all want to do this. You might want to play with this a little bit. What if you took a a, pa a notepad or a piece of paper and just started writing money, 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 and let let the, let it start to come from your subconscious, okay? Money, ooh, money. Oh, evil people have money. Hmm. Okay, so. You're gonna, whatever you start to discover, like money's evil, people who have money have control, money's dirty. I mean, there's all kinds of beliefs that you're gonna discover with money. How can you possibly bring money in if you still got this stuff running about money, okay? It's like two different things, okay? Oh yeah, I want money, but yeah, money's bad, money bad, money dirty, money nasty, money evil. How you, you're not gonna bring any fucking money in, okay, people? 
So it's the same thing with everything. You know, people say, I want love, I want relationship. Oh, but men's, men are inconsiderate. Men are this, men are that, women are that, da 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 da. How can you have a relationship if you got all these judgments of the opposite sex or even the same sex? Okay. So to discover and to start unraveling on your own, find out your judgments, find out your beliefs. You don't really know them. You might have an inkling of a couple of them, but what you're not aware of is if you're holding a certain belief around something and yet this is what you're wanting and it's a negative belief, you're never going to bring this in. So by bringing consciousness, by bringing awareness to your subconscious, by literally looking at what your, what your judgments are, okay, what your beliefs are, around money or even marriage or love or whatever your issues are you need to get a sense of how are you holding it in place duh okay also just so y'all know you will access your subconscious deeper if you will use your non-dominant hand to write with okay so for example if i'm going to write oh let me just think what would i write um, okay, I'll just go back to what, what was what I used to. Okay, I can say healers. So I would start writing healers and I would get it in there a little bit. Healers are um, um, healers are damaged, broken, shamed, humiliated. Okay, so I'm going to write it in a way that I can, I'm writing quick as quick as I can. I'm not worried about spelling, I'm not worried about how it looks, but I do need to write some of the words. You can't just be doing like someone was doing this. Okay, watch this. Just doing this. This. No. You have to write the words because it's angsting, it's doing something in your brain, okay? There's a reason why we use the non-dominant hand, okay? So start writing and then start letting, and then letting yourself just write what, whatever's presenting, and then you're going to find stuff started to come through the subconscious that you didn't know was there, all right? And that's why I'm asking you to do that. If you want to change your lives, if you want to take responsibility, and also not just get clearings, but also help yourself, use this process to find out what are your judgments? What do you believe about money? What do you believe about love? What do you believe about moms, dads? What do you believe about husbands, wives? I'm telling you, people, find out. Once you, once you expose your subconscious, unconscious beliefs, then you got somewhere to go with it, okay? Then you can go, whoa, I, okay, if I think money is evil or money is dangerous or money is like poison, how can I possibly receive money, okay? So that's just one of the things. But people, the more you... Face yourselves. The more you discover about yourselves, the more empowered you are to change your own life. Okay? And that's what this is about. You know, so for me, it's about liberation. I'm here to assist. I've been seeking liberation most of my life and have discovered many, many, many things by not studying with other people. Okay? So what I've learned, I have not learned from other humans, nor have I gone to like, well, actually, there have been a few masters like Jesus when I was in Israel. He showed me many things, so that was cool. Um, but basically, you know, it's like learning on my own and discovering and finding what really is work, what really is true, what really works. All righty. Okay, so we're almost down to that time. So, people, reminder: you got this recording. Thank goodness, it's going to be awesome. And Make sure you utilize it because it will keep unraveling. And we are in the new paradigm. I saw, you guys, I saw this. I saw the frequency of the new paradigm when I was, I was actually living in San Jose. I, had, was, a, I was in the country in, in um, Auburn, and then I moved to San Jose for a few months. And when I was teaching classes there, that's when I saw it. That's when I saw the new paradigm. That's when I saw what was going to have to take place in order for people to go through the new paradigm and it's all happening exactly as I saw it, okay? So by clearing out your gunk, by clearing out your wounding, by clearing out your own misperceptions of reality, you can take charge of your life and start changing and releasing 
what no longer is the truth no longer serves you what you've already been what you've already done what you've already learned okay if you've done something over 100 times i'm thinking you got it okay so the other component to that would be that you have to go through some of the emotions but with our work most of the emotions are cleared rarely do you have to go through emotional feelings all right people thank you so much for joining me um oh just so y'all know i do have uh, my foundations training this weekend anybody wants to jump on you can do it i also have training foundations a 10-day training in mexico in september it's an, uh, guys it's more it's beyond it's beyond okay we deal with so much stuff kind of like this only more so it's beyond anything that you've ever experienced but if you're interested in learn how to how to do this work or you even just want your own healing and you got skills and abilities jump on board i'd love to teach you because you will make change for others you will affect change in other people's lives all right people till next time bye bye